Hello, folks. Welcome to tonight's game. This one's going to be good between the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets and the Pittsburgh Panthers. Number 23 is great at capitalizing on his experience as a senior leader, and that keeps his teammates grounded out on the floor. He finds a way to bring that valuable team support to the team without losing his own game. The Panthers will have to be prepared defensively for him tonight, Dick. The Panthers are looking to make this one a blowout early. What are the keys for him tonight, Dick? Yeah, on a night like this, the keys are pretty simple, Brad. First, play at your own tempo. Don't get into a run-and-gun game, baby. Secondly, set good interior screens to free up your big men on the block. Look to the inside first. And finally, make your team think defense first. Solid defense will lead to good offense. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. He looks at the hoop, tries for two. Unbelievable, look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Pushing that basketball. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. Fake. He goes with a jump hook. I tell you, he didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. The game is changing, Brad. These days, guys are consistently playing above the rim. Trying to feed inside. Number five fakes the shot. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. Stolen away. Change in possession. The defense knocked it loose, then went and got it. a whistle and a foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. And look at the facial expression. With a little baby hook. I tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. He shoots from the top of the key. Oh, yes. Tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. For the bucket, the lay -in. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. The center takes the pass. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. This is a one-man show right now, Brad. This is supposed to be a team game. On the outside, the small forward takes the feed. He drains it. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Great play to take that to the basket. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Number 32 with the ball. And he'll kick it back outside. He shoots from the top of the circle. Sinks the shot. The shooting guard gets the pass. Goes in. Keep your eye right on the ball here. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. 
Gave it up. They look to get it to the inside. Perfectly executed. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Dumps it in. The power forward gets the ball. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. With Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestler. Nice to have you along with us. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. He gets that one to fall. Trying to go inside. They get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. On the dribble, gives it up. And, Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Both teams looking to get things going here. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Way off target. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. a good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Goes up for two. Look at that spacing. In the paint. For two. And he missed. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. My goodness. It's chaotic in here. Looking for a good shot. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Leans in. And he scores despite the hack. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the... With a great block. That's a great shot, man. He's like the human eraser. He says, get that baby out of the lane. He launches the bomb. You betcha. <laughs> McGrew is feeling great right now. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. That's good defense, a steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. He's got a high post flasher. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Kicks it out. Launches away. Off the rim and no good. They work it around the perimeter. They work it around the perimeter. From beyond the arc, Georgia Tech are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, now to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. 
the inside. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. Turns it over. Now they work it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Got to make that baby end a wide open angle. Have a chance to lay it on the glass for easy news. And the fans are going wild. Hey, pandemonium is in full effect. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. If the walls in their changing room could talk, so to speak, I'm sure there'd be some great stories that go along with this historic basketball program. They have a strong history, which is part of the reason why they attract talented players. Gave it up. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. You can see on the replay how this one goes down. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good post play because the footwork is excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Both teams are looking to get something going here. On the dribble, gives it up. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> on the outside he takes the shot he kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot Brad defender knocked the ball loose but the offense got it back Trying to draw the foul. He hits it. Great anticipation defensively. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Frustration right there. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick, the coaching staff told me before the game, this is the one guy they need to get going quickly and early. They said when he gets hot, his entire team will follow suit, and they'll feel good about having the game in hand. All right, thanks, Aaron. Gave it up. He shoots from the top of the key. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Almost lost the basketball. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. The dribble gives it up goes up for two great play to take that to the basket takes the pass in the paint got to take some pride on the defensive end what a great steal defensive player was really right on top of that basketball it inside he's got an open look for the shot he shoots from the top of the circle way off target I've seen you out there with pom-poms Mr. Vitale but not looking that good I'll tell you what don't look that good I can't dance like that baby 
The University of Pittsburgh is most popular for varsity walk, embedded in the stones of the names of many former Pitt greats. Hey, the Panthers have been recognized, have achieved greatness in academics and athletic work. Terry look from three-point land for two. Nice shot. Set that screen away. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Oh, what a strip, Rad. Looking for a good shot. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Perfectly executed. There it is again. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Got a man in high post. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. The man is off the charts, Brad. He wants the crowd to get pumped up, Dick. He is feeling it. Pump them up, young man. Pump them up. If they can get a basket here, Dick, this crowd will erupt. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Now the high screen with a quarterback pass. He shoots from the angle. He's money with the shot. Steals a pass. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Gave it up. Double team now, bad angle. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Number 32 draws the personal. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Number 45 makes his first substitution. I'll tell you what I like about him, Brad. He brings all kinds of energy to the floor. First one is no good. Second one, no good. He intercepts it. Looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. Up and inside. With the fake. Pushing that basketball, help one another, communicate. He takes it away. They run it up into transition for the bucket. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. 
Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I think he took a chance, and he lost, baby. Replay, please. Look at the student section, Dick, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. They look like they're having a blast. And he'll kick it back outside. And the ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. He puts it in with contact and all. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Now they work it around the perimeter. Fakes a jumper in the paint. Gets it back out. He tries the three. Buried it. They work it around the perimeter. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. The Yellow Jackets have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. The Yellow Jackets have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. He nails the bucket. Picks off the pass. They get out on the break. On the outside. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. On the outside. Got to think right now. Got to focus. Count the basket. It was going down. Points off turnovers, Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy baskets. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. These teams are looking at the second half to decide the outcome of this ball game. Best play of that half. Let's take another look. Pittsburgh had a horrible first half, Dick, in turning the ball over. I see a lot of guys out there thinking too much when they have the ball. When you think too much on a basketball court, they try to be Aristotle, man. They're going to be basketball players. The opposition has time to react. You can't let them have that advantage. Dick, start of the second half. We take a look at our focus player, and he's going to have to be the man to come through. Well, I think he's got to attack the basket a lot more. I think he's got to get opportunities to go to the free throw line, and that will come if he becomes aggressive. And in and out. Here's a nice face-up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up, and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. And I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. High post screen, so effective that screen. Momentary look from three-point land. Goes up for two. 
I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Way out on top, controlling the ball, perfectly executed. They move it into the front court. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has a great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45 degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Wow, take a look at the mascot. He's going crazy after that last dunk. He's jumping all over. He looks like he wants to play. I love it, baby. Love that enthusiasm. Look at that spacing. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. They just have to focus, Brad. That's most important, mental toughness. That was a high post screen, close to the lane. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. He's typically a good shooter. Yeah, but not tonight. He's got to accept that. <laughs> Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. Gets it to go. Controlling the ball. There he is, strips the ball loose. Fast break possibility coming. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Here's a flash from the post up high. Shoots from outside. Off the rim and no good. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball though? The kick out for the bucket. Perfectly executed. Whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Takes away the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Goes up for two, knocks it down. Pull up jumper from way out. Georgia Tech are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Here's a double team. Steals the ball. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. The ball goes out of bounds. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I think, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Here's the toss back out for the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. They work it around the perimeter. There they come with a double team to stop it. Strips the ball. And then coming the other way. And a slam. The defense is in an uproar. Hey, they should be. They're getting creamed out there. And the ball goes out of play. Look out. He's in the face of the opposition. I don't know if all of that is necessary, Brad.
throws it up from downtown. Oh, yes. Number 32 with the fake. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Good athletic move. Very athletic. He's got great athleticism. On the inside. There's the trap. He wants a three. He can't get the J to go despite running off the nice screen. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked out of the air. Long lead pass. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Now they work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Jumps into the defender. Up and in. Working it around the perimeter. There's a double team waiting there. around the arc goes up for two sweet looking shot he is super he really is picked off on the dribble gives it up leaning in trying to draw contact the Panthers trail by nine The fake. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. The ball goes out of play. Well, Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won and lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers, missed opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. From downtown. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their voice is beginning to fade. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Looking for the foul. Number 32 with a finger roll. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. The Yellow Jackets have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Georgia Tech have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. And the ball goes out of bounds. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back over to you. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Blocks it. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. And now they'll bring it up. Steal. 
The University of Pittsburgh is most popular for varsity walk. Embedded in the stones are the names of many former Pitt greats. And the Panthers have been recognized have achieved greatness in academics and athletic work. Looking for a good shot. Double team now, bad angle. Let's it fly. That's good. The Panthers are behind by 15. Up and inside. In the paint. Time to pick up the defense here now. Stolen. Transition opportunity coming up. Cam City, baby. That's a rim rocker. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. For two, sinks the shot. <laughs> on the outside. For the bucket. Any chance for a comeback in this blowout, Dick? I'd have to see it to believe it. I don't think there's enough time. And a momentary look from three-point land. He unloads a three. Makes the shot. Intercepted. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see Wall Man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. Check out this young man, Brad. He's taunting the opponent. Number five finds himself back out on the court. This team plays a lot differently when he's in the game, Brad. Is that good or bad, Dick? You I think they play a lot more under control. Got them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I'll tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Jumped in front to take it away. Patterson makes a great move to draw the foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He goes to the line for the first time. Free throw is good. the board. They need to get out and run their lanes now. Gave it up. Picks off the lazy pass. Puts up the tray, goes. Nick, they're really going to have to monitor this because they've hit the bottom mentally. They're really going to be in some big, big trouble. 
I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Picks off the pass. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. He intercepts it. That's basic. Tries for two. Georgia Tech are doing a nice job of putting a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. Stolen ball. Here they go into transition. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? I look for something different here coming out of this timeout, Dick. I wouldn't doubt it, Brad. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. It's stolen. And back they come the other way. On the dribble, gives it up for the deuce. Buried it. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Puts it up, looking for contact. Allen makes the finger roll. Pushing that basketball. Steals the ball. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. They work it around the perimeter. Let's it fly. Comes up short. Slam jam, bam! Up and away, the elevator man. They love it. This one could be over. Can you imagine? I was a mad teacher. <laughs> Time to watch this game tape, baby, to see where you went wrong. Great play to take that to the basket. Working it around the perimeter. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. He shoots from long range. Nice shot. They'll work it around the arc. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Gave it up. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. Up and inside. On the inside, jumps in. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show is about to start, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be a Skywalker. Elevating and throwing it down, Mr. Nestler. How much fun would that be? That wide stance and the drop step. I tell you, it's all about angles. If you utilize that drop step, it's like a reverse pivot move. <laughs> he 
Gave it up. He fakes the shot. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Wow, let's check out the replay. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Had a momentary look from three-point land. They work the perimeter. Picked out of the air. He looks for the bomb. He drains the shot. Picked off. Timeout's called. Diamond's not on their side right now, Brad. They need some big shots, baby. Looks like we're ready to step back out onto the court. He shoots from left of the circle, way off target. Perfectly executed. Definitely a foul. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. Runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. As we see the game situation here. Hey, Brad, these are elements of the game which coaches are really responsible for. Calling timeouts at the right time, knowing which way the possession arrow is pointing. All factors that are important in close games. He puts it up. He doesn't get the hook. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. And the ball goes out of play. There's the turnover situation for the hat kick. I tell you, the lower the number, the better off your team will be. With too many turnovers, the likelihood of you playing in a game at the end drops significantly. McGrew handles the pass. Our focus player update, our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. Well, I'll tell you, nine out of ten times, if the focus player plays well, we're going to get to the winner's circle. Pittsburgh loses the game. After a loss like this, you have to question their ranking. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.